All right, so I'm gonna show you how to set up a live event using OBS and different scenes and things like that. So we wanna open up the program um, and you have different profiles. So this is the one I have for Sonny and I, the one we did with our last live stream. And so once you have your profile set up um, and all you do is basically just open up the program and then you start editing things and you can save the profile. And then you can go through different profiles that you have, like uh, there's a different one here and this one here. But anyways, once you have your profile set up, you want to create what are called scenes and the only the, the easiest way to do it is just to hit the add button give the name a scene and it'll put it over here onto the right side and then once you create the scene you can then start making it like putting in a media source an audio source different things like that um, and then it allows you to go in between different scenes during your entire presentation so for this one i just hit um media source and I chose the media source and you can always go in and, and edit the media sources. So the media source is actually a music file. So I am having a music file and you can see here, um, restart when, when it becomes, when it stops playing. So it's always going. So anytime I, I switch it to the intro, like if I start streaming right now and I hit intro, it's going to have this right here, which is a graphic by the way. So I made a graphic in like Photoshop or fireworks saying starting now you could put in like an animated GIF of a countdown. You can do a lot of different things, whatever you want. So I just imported an image, which you can see here, imported the image. And then, um, I basically went to here. I went to image and I grabbed the image, um, gave it a name and imported it. And once it's in there, you can even like move it and resize it and different things like that. Um, and then I have the audio as the Yeti, which, uh, for the intro scene, I don't even really want because now if I had the Yeti going, if I was talking during the intro, they would hear me. So I should probably just remove the Yeti from this. Um, I'll just leave it for now, but, but basically I have the image and my media source, which is a music file playing. And this is kind of what it looks like. So it's basically a, it's basically like a waiting room. And so we went a couple minutes early, like four or five minutes early, um, and just had this up there and that let, let people log in and different things like that. We also streamed it through Sunny's page. So it gave us time to share it on our other social media profiles while we were waiting for people to kind of log on. Um, but once we logged on, we then switched it over to a scene called both. Now, Sunny, Sunny's obviously not on right now. So um, so her video would normally be here. And with Sunny, what I did is I just, um, did a window capture, what is called a window capture. And I chose Skype. And so I Skyped her in and just said, Hey, show the video from the Skype call. And then I had the Yeti, uh, capture the audio, which was my audio. And then I had it next to the speaker. So it actually captured her audio from the speaker. Um, and then I have this image right here. So I also went to import image and I created a little image right here, which is this white box uh, that says leave comments at our Facebook group or her Facebook group. And then this is actually another image too um, that I called tag. So this is another Im image I imported. So I imported another image and you can just import all these images and move them around however you want them to go. Um, so if we pull up the live stream here, It should transition over here in a second. And then so I'll just fast forward it. There we go. Come on. And then it should. No, it's going to restart again. Live. All right, there we Welcome. go. So basically what happened is that I, I had the intro playing like this. And then when I wanted to go live, I just literally tapped both and it's moved the live stream over to me. Uh, by the way, this is just a webcam. You can use a USB webcam or whatever. So we go to video capture device, which is me right here. And you can see I can move myself anywhere I want on the screen and uh, I went to here, I went to video capture a, a device, and then you can either choose one that you've already set up before, or you can hit okay. And you choose the device. For me, I'm choosing my webcam. If you can figure out how to get a DSLR hooked up to your computer to use as webcam, you can use a DSLR. I've done that in the past. 
uh, and then you just hit OK. And so I have my video capture right here. I have the Yeti capturing the audio, uh, which is right here. Whoops. So let me move that up. There we go. So I have the audio and you can control the volume of things too. If people are saying it's too loud or not too loud, you can actually move the volume up here while you're talking. Um, so anyway, so that's uh, the window capture was for Sunny. These are different images. And then I have our content plan. So here's what we're going to talk about today. This is just an image uh, that I had brought in, but it is really important that if you bring in images like this, that you still set up an audio source. That way, when you switch between things, you want the same audio source between every single scene. Otherwise you're going to switch to this and they're not going to hear you because, because you, you're just showing an image. So make sure you have your Yeti, um, or whatever you're using to capture your audio through every single scene, except for maybe the intro. Um, that that's really, really important. So again, you just go here, you go to audio input and you choose your audio input that you want to use. And then what I did is I set up another scene that's just sunny. So when sunny started talking, I was, uh, I would, I would hit the sunny scene and her video would come up right here. Obviously, since she's not on Skype, it's not going to come up. And then when I started talking by myself, I would switch over to this. And then when both of us were kind of talking, I would switch over to this. Then I had a strategy that I wanted to bring up. So again, I had the Yeti capturing my audio, I had an image brought in. That was my thing. And then when I wanted to show my screen, like if I want to show videos and things like that, I just went to here. I added a display capture. You could do, um, and I just chose it, the, my entire computer. And again, the Yeti is my audio. And then I had the ending scene. And so the ending again could have music or Yeti or whatever it is. So we started with an intro and then we just set up all these different scenes of what I wanted to talk about in the live stream. And I can literally flip from them during the live call. So if we look at this and I'll show you how to set it up after in a second here, but, um, uh, the wonderful, you want to, um, it was anybody answer over at step number five. So here we go. Um, and kind of give my, so I just switched over to the, um, uh, the content strategy scene. I just clicked it and it switched it over to there. The Yeti was still capturing my audio. What works. So I've done this for myself. I've done it for customers. I've done it for corporations, local businesses, online business owners, entrepreneurs. And the process is generally always the same. Uh, in fact, we're kind of doing this with Sunny. Most of you know her new course is coming out uh, at the end of so August. So it'll switch here in a second. Talk about how let you take it away uh, for that as well. So we got a lot of really, really good stuff planned for you guys. And um, so, I guess, Sunny, we can just kind of flip it over to you and, and let then, you take it so away. So I literally just clicked like the Sunny, the Sunny thing on OBS. So I just went in here and clicked Sunny. And then bam, it went right to Sunny and she started talking and we had the you know, we have all the things set up. So that's how you set up this stuff. Um, I would also recommend coming in here and going to video. Um, or is it under stream? Under audio, sorry, and putting in a little bit of a delay so that the audio will match your voice because sometimes it's a little off. I put a 200 millisecond thing in there. Um, but now that you have all your scenes set up, now it's time to hook it up to Facebook. So what we do is we just go to um, a page that you manage and I believe it's publishing tools. Let's double check. Let me do this from the sold with video page. Um, and I'll actually do a live one right now. Uh, so you got to go to your business manager and then go to s publishing tools. Um, there we go. Okay. And then we go to videos and then we go to live. And then what we're going to do is actually take this stream key and we are going to go into OBS. We're going to go to settings and you have to do this every time you want to go live. You have to put in a new stream key and get a stream key, but you just paste it in here. You hit OK. You hit start streaming. So if I go to the intro here and I go to preview, it should catch the stream here in a second. And then you can give it a title like testing for tutorial or whatever you want. Um, and then you do your post, which is, hey, hey, we are live. Um, and then this is going to go into your Facebook group. Now I'm going to show you in a second how you can do this or not a Facebook group, sorry, in your Facebook page. In a second, I'm going to show you how you can do this 
and go live inside a group and different things like that. Um, but basically what we've done in the past is just go live on our page and then share it in a group. So uh, we'll say this. And it should preview it and pull it up. And then the second we hit go live, we're going to be going live. So let's do go live. So now I'm going to be going live on my page. So let's give it a second. And then there we go. And we can see all the different stats and stuff that we have going on here. Um, and you can see like comments and things that are coming in and, and whatnot. So you can see all the people reached and uh, all that cool stuff. And then you can actually pull it up. Uh, on your page and look at the comments and things. I think you can see it all right here. Um, I'm not 100% sure. But then when you're done, you just hit end live or or you can go here and hit uh, stop streaming. Not 100% sure. But then when you're done, you just... So let me end that. Okay. So we just went live on my page with it and we could have hit like all the different scenes and gone through the different scenes. So while it's open and while it's streaming, I can go through each one of these scenes and it'll be playing on the live stream like that. Now, if you want to go live, so let me just delete this. I don't even want this on my page. Well, I'll delete it after we're almost done. Um, so now if I wanted to go live directly inside a group, the only way I found to do it is to not actually set it up through Facebook uh, like I just did, but it's actually to come to this page, which is this URL right here, iag.me forward slash social media forward slash broadcast dash computer dash Facebook dash live forward slash and hit broadcasts on Facebook Live, and then you choose where you want it to go, like share in a group. The only problem is you have to do it from a personal profile, so if you're trying to do a Facebook Live and you want a remarketing audience, you have to do it the other way I just showed you. I haven't figured out how to go live from this little app thing um, from a Facebook page. So what we've done is always gone live on a Facebook page, but then shared it in a Facebook group. But if you don't care about remarketing audiences, just go to your group, go to the group you want, hit next. It's gonna give you the, the stream key and you have to do it in Firefox for some weird reason. Um, allow, allow, and then here's the stream key. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna do the settings. Every Like I said, every time you do this, you have to put in a new stream key. So, oh, stop streaming, go to settings, stream, paste, okay, start streaming. Start streaming, hit allow, continue allowing, and then now it's fetching the stream. Allow, the stream, and then you just do the same process. And then you just do the same process. And you can see here the little preview, but if I was, and you can see here the little preview, but if I was to switch it, bam. To switch it, bam. And bam. And bam. And you can see, and you can see how this work, like how we're we're basically going in between how scenes. Work, like how, how we're we're basically going in between this scenes. This echo is awful. Um, you can usually turn the volume down and not deal deal with the echo. But as soon as you go live, it's not going to matter. So then you hit go live, and you can be inside your. live, it's not going to matter. You can be inside your Facebook group. You can be inside your. You can be inside your Facebook group. Okay. Anyways, I think you I think you get it. I'm gonna close that out. Um, so that's how we use OBS. Uh, not too not too difficult. But if you have any more questions, let me know.